Howdy, partner. Um, this... I haven't done a lot of vlogs because... Um... Well, for when I was... When I could actually talk. <laughs> um... In Missoula, it was kind of like... Now, I wasn't very good at doing them on time, but, um, it was, it was, a, it was, like, kind of hard to, to just be a little bit bored and then being, like, okay, you know, I haven't done one of those for a while, so I should do another vlog. Um, so it took some effort to, um, do those a little bit, like, but, um, now it's more like, well, I like to do them alone, so I have to find some way to, to be alone, um, <clears throat> although I do, um, uh, I do some of them in the shed, and that works. I always end up just talking about the things that I've made in the shed. Um, but it's it's harder now than it used to be because uh, it's just hard to talk. Makes sense. So... Um, Kylie lives here, and yesterday I tried to, I go into her room and tell her that coffee's done, because she likes six scoops and coffee, like, holy cow, and then, um, she gets her coffee or whatever, and then, like, at, like, two or three, I think, maybe, maybe one, it was pretty, it was late, Kylie sleeps way in, and then I go into her room, I say, well, do you want to go do something, like, we can do anything, just, like, Let's go work on something, or... I even said that, like, I need some help to work on, like, the lost loft that I was going to make in the, the shed. Okay. And then come back, like, an hour later, and she's in her bed. <laughs> she's like, I'm, I'm content just scrolling through Reddit. And I'm like... <clears throat> I think about this, like... Reddit is what people do when they're bored. That's like when you come home after work and you're very excited to watch something on TV. No, that's like when you come home and you're like, oh, what do I do? I guess I'll just watch some TV or something. It's something that you do when you, like you fall back on doing nothing. So I'm like, hey, why don't, like, why don't you just do something outside? Like, I'm, you know, I'm not really, uh, I'm pretty bad at being eloquent. <laughs> like, I think I used to be pretty good at talking. You know, I was talking all the time. I had coworkers to talk about, and I had customers and everything, but now it's much harder to even, like, like, to uh, just speak clear, uh, like make a sentence that makes sense and trying to say things that I'm thinking of. So uh, I, I, if it doesn't, if that's not appellant, apparent, um, um, so I'm like, hey, you know, if you're, you have the goddamn blanket on the window 24-7 so it's dark in there and you're in your room that is dark 
and you're she calls me that she's depressed because she is obviously and then I'm like well you know if you're in an artificial environment 24 7 then like you're a fucking idiot to think that you're gonna feel good about that like you're not of course it's like of course it's not good for you okay mom which is like the dumbest thing that she likes to say and then she says i don't want to talk about it right now it's like well for one thing if she's saying like okay mom then well that is really stupid because i'm trying to help her and trying to convince her to like help herself which she does not do <clears throat> and she says oh well, fuck this is hard <laughs> to think of things um she says okay mom and she says i don't want to talk about it which is an, a, an admittance to guilt of you know being depressed and everything and Ah, excuse me so it's everybody's very frustrated with Kylie because she's been really stupid all the time and doesn't listen to anyone doesn't want to do anything <clears throat> and she's still drinking anyhow even though she like, I want to be sober, she told me, and she clearly doesn't really mean it. Because she just, last night, she slipped at Emily's house, and, I mean, so she was going to sleep there, so clearly she's just going to get, like, super plastered so that she doesn't have to talk to Mom about it. So... Um, Mike is, in, I think Mike's gonna be in town on Saturday, and then I'll get it, <laughs> because they kind of sabotaged his house and keyed his truck with the knife that I borrowed from him permanently. She won't, uh, she won't, um, dump him, like, she has, but she just hasn't told him, so, so stupid. I don't know, what the fuck, Kylie is, like, so, so funny that mom, like, just says things, and I'm like, oh, right, she was right. Mom... A few days ago, it's like telling Ky telling me that Kylie's so um, inconsiderate, and I'm like, hmm, haven't really thought about it. And then that night, she what did she do? Oh, I'm getting it mixed up between a few nights, but then she like. I think it was like she came into my room and was like talks to me about something and then wakes me at 4 a.m. because she stays up every single night and when everybody's like well if you cannot sleep at night don't sleep through the day and like get up so that you'll sleep better. And then she sleeps in my bed, so I'm like, Phew. great, so I get up at 4 a.m. and then wait for mom and dad to get up and then I sleep on the, pe the couch for a little while and then for, then the dogs come to wake me up and then well, the point is, is that 
yeah, Kylie was not considering anyone about this. And it's like when you when you when you know somebody's sleeping and you just want to like check to see if they're you know maybe kind of a little bit awake, you go. Kylie stands in front of my doorway and goes, what'd she say? CJ, are you up? <laughs> I'm like, fuck! Jeez, man! Yeah, I'm awake! At 4 a.m., thanks. So, really fun. And it, it is like, Everybody has been very frustrated with Kylie, and I just keep on going through, like, the, this, like, thing of being, like, okay, yeah, I'm really frustrated, but I'll just forget about it, and then Kylie is, I don't know, but anyhow, the things that I've been working on, um, uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I took, well, I just walked to the end of the field, and I was just shooting a whistling arrow, and then I walked all the way back, and it got kind of cold at the end, so I, I was like at four or something, but I lost one, I lost an arrow, it went like, like it just perfectly went underneath the the grass that's on the ground and i even took a, a rat rake the next day and i walked all the way to the end of the field and i was like sc scratching through the grass and i brought brody because brody's the only dog that actually listens to me <clears throat> and i couldn't find it so i came back and then after that I was thinking about like the thing what things I could work on and I was like, oh, I could work on a quiver. And I don't know why, I was just like walking around or something. Yeah, I was just like walking around and then I found I realized that there is aspen in the burn pile. Like there's like a log pile and then dad just got some aspen to burn probably many years ago and I was like, Wow, well, this is just some bark wood. So I found a bunch of them and experimented to see if I could bend them with steam. And then I uh, was working on getting the, um, there's like, the, the, the bark is like the paper on that. And then there's like darker or thicker bark. And then you have to se separate them somehow. And I'm pretty sure if it was green, then it would be really easy. But these have been sitting around for a while and they've like completely dried. So it's really hard to get them a a a apart. So, um, man, I was working on that for like a few hours last night and it is pretty hard. And then I realized that I, my mom let me use a craftsman multi-tool and that made things a lot easier because <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a saw but it's like flat so it's like, kind of like a planer but not really so you can it vibrates it doesn't turn so it is pretty pretty handy little tool And I've probably got like one sheet that is not damaged yet. <sighs> oh, excuse me. And uh, it took like maybe two hours to finally get all the bark off underneath the bark. <laughs> and um, I think I can boil it with a tall pot and then. Um, uh, make a quiver, like a cool whip, cool quiver. Of course, the only quiver that I've ever used was one that was made out of 
uh, a pant, a pant leg that had, it was stitched up with just regular white scream, string, and then put, had two, so this is what it looked like. It was like the, the pant leg, and it sketched at the bottom, and then I had um, two pieces of wood that were just a V, and then joined at the bottom, and that went into the bottom of the, the quiver, and then uh, they were stitched at the top so that it was just a saggy little pant leg, and then the, the two Vs would just be tension that would keep them apart. And then at the bottom, which I thought was like genius. <laughs> For just a moment, um, I was like, now what could I put in the bottom of this quiver to protect the bottom of the quiver? So that if um, I put an arrow in there with an, an field tip or something, it doesn't go through the, the pant leg. And it's not going to really ban it, damage most pants, but, you know, as you use it a lot more then you need something to reinforce it so I lived in Missoula and there's pine trees everywhere so I grabbed a big pine cone and I was just looking at it because they have like the the pine cones are it's like actually I've never really thought of this but like a pine cone if you take it like the the, the shape of it is basically just like a pine cone like an upside down or a pine tree, so that it looks just like the same uh, shape. So that if you put an arrow in here, then it gets um, into the pine cone, then it will like go into it, right? So um, that was. <clears throat> Yeah, that was uh, the the idea. So it goes in the bottom, and then it protects the bottom. And uh, that was kind of... I, was, I like that. So um, that's the quiver that I made. So I don't know what else I'm going to... I might might use another pine cone in this one, except that it's going to be made out of bark. And I I've, the one that with the pant uh, had... Uh, it was just a hip quiver on my right side. So if I can if I if I can figure out how to um, get a good strap on it, then I would like to try a back quiver. Because, you know, style. <laughs> I think a lot of people use it just because it is out of the way and it's kinda cool, you know. Uh, but I think I'll, I'll just try it anyhow and then see if I can make, uh, make it a hip quiver too. Um, or even like, uh, like an, a lower back quiver or some, some of them, cause I have a few things of bark. I can probably make a few of them, but we'll see. But some of the more modern ones have like it's like a ring at the top that the arrows go through and then there's one at the bottom and then there's like an, an opening that you put the arrows in here and then when you reach around behind you then you grab the arrow and you pull it out just a little bit and then it comes through here and so it goes like that so that the um you already you don't have to like pull it out and then like turn it around and go across the bow then you can you can go like this and then it well the I'm not really sure but they're cool <clears throat> so I think it's a nice day and I'm gonna shoot a little bit today and I'm gonna take some pictures of the bows that I made and um, I was really angry 
got kind of yesterday, so I didn't really do very much. But if I, I did tell mom that I should make some more hairpins, so, um, those are really easy. And it, fuck, I got almost 50 bucks already from two of those. Um, so that's cool. I, like, uh, because my parents are here and they're supporting me because I had a stroke, um, uh, that I'm not super worried about money. I mean, I should be because it does kind of seem like, well, the epidemic that is going on right now, um, I think we're just in the kind of like the earlier half of it. So it just breached Montana. So, um, I, you know, I'm not seeing it right. What's going to happen in the next few years or whatever, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a recession. Makes sense. <clears throat> and then, yeah, so I should probably get on that before people realize that and they don't have any money. <laughs> so, but I've never been really too worried about being poor because so long as you have the things that you need, such as food, um, and you have some sort of way to create something, then that's pretty much what I want, you know? One of the things that kind of sucks right now is because um, <clears throat> one of the, the driving factors that I was using to kind of um, to uh, one of the things that I was kind of using Mm, uh, for driving me creatively was to be accepted and trying to find some friends um, but I'm so isolated that it's more like that's why I'm not making art I'm just doing things that I just kind of like which would be boats I love boats and when I was a kid, I would play right here in this yard with um, just some sticks and twine. Maybe I should make one of those. <laughs> I should make one out of just a branch, twine, and yeah. There was one... See, when I was making these little stick bows, it was still kind of, well, for one thing, YouTube was not a big thing, um, but um, the things that I saw that I was, about how to make a bow, I was like really excited, um, was uh, uh, to make a bow, you had to season, season, season the stave. But I was very, um, was very, uh, in patient. Um, so I tried to make one and then like kind of rough it out and then let it dry. Um, and I always put it underneath the porch. Um, but then when I come here, they got a new porch. So I think, and I had, this is dumb, but I had my fa favorite stick. <laughs> and then the se seasoning stick that I was going to make a bow out of. Um, and I don't know where they are now. They probably got thrown in the, the burn pile. And I did look around, but I just, you know, it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gone. I'll ask, you know. Or I can crawl underneath the 
the porch and see it's there, but probably not. It's too bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. So just making vlogs is harder than it used to be, of course. Anything to do with talking is harder. Um, yep. <sighs> so, it's a nice day. I'll probably do something. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to make some YouTube videos for my main main channel, and uh, you know, because it is pretty apparent that I'm not talking very much to me. Um, so, having something to exercise, um, my voice throughout the day would probably be good. Um, I do sing by myself, and I am getting better at it. Like, the songs that I know. Because I have to, like, practice the lyrics a few times before I can say them consistently um, yeah so that and sometimes if I'm trying I'm just thinking of different things like there was a little jug of linseed oil and I was trying to like say it and I go linseed oil and it was just kind of fun so I was like linseed oil <laughs> it was fun so I, I don't know just trying to practice things as the day goes like um I, you know just words and sometimes I I'll get it eventually. I just have to say them a few times. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I was thinking about making some YouTube videos that are just kind of relaxing and, like, maybe just going for a hike or something or talking about you know whatever I think is interesting but um, I'm not really sure what kind of direction that would go in but you know I've always liked to make videos so I think I'll try it again or I'll consider it um, but today I'm gonna shoot some arrows I did want to make a bow eventually, but it's a little, I mean, I can't do everything in one day, so I think I'll just shoot a little bit and then I'll decide what's next. But since, since I started uh, shooting bows, I got a lot stronger. I was pretty wimpy over the, you know, since November and then... Yeah, got some, uh, got some more, especially on my left arm, like, I'm usually not strong on my left arm, but since I've been shooting bows that are, like, 60 pounds, um, yeah, I've been much better, and I'm sure if I make a video about the different bows that I've been working on, and I made that, um, talk about oh I did make one video about uh, 
the first one that I made, and when I first made it, I couldn't even, like, at my, my most, uh, when I was trying as much as I could, I could hardly pull it back, and now I can shoot it, like, I could probably shoot 30 arrows before I get a little bit tired from it. So now I can, yeah, I'm much stronger and I am getting a little bit more in shape. Uh, I should like walk a little bit, you know, don't skip leg day or something, you know? So um, as long as I keep on just chewing and, you know, keeping busy, then I will be the, the fittest that I've been for probably more than six years or so, because I was very in in shape um, when I was drumming, especially in the Whoop Ass Girls, because that was very um, energetic and it takes a lot of energy. But uh, now that I'm just outside and working on different whatever I want to make. Yeah, I'm just doing better. Anyhow, I'm just like, just talking right now. So, uh, everybody's at home and quarantined. So, the only thing that I can do is just work on some stuff. So, anyhow, see you.